Hey everybody, Ryan here with another Rome video update. This update is pretty big and it is the tile system update. So I've got the tile system to show off and a couple other things, so let's get started. Um, I plugged in some camera controls, some really basic camera controls. I thought it would be appropriate for this update since we are showing off a lot of the environment. So you have the ability to rotate around smoothly, uh, zoom in, zoom out. Um, so yeah. Uh, another thing that we plugged in with the tile system is the loot system that we had set up. So right now I just have all of these loot spawners to spawn a plank of wood, but I can go back and change their loot table to spawn, you know, maybe berries along the bushes here or um, twigs on the ground to start a fire, stuff like that. But I just wanted to make sure it was working. So it is working and that's good. Um, a really big change that I did was the base building mechanics. So the blueprints weren't working for me. Um, I felt like I needed to find a different way to solve the base building and I think I've come up with a pretty good solution. Um, ignore this personal space set up here. This is just so I can place the tent to the world. I haven't changed it from when I was experimenting. So um, the idea was I placed the tent, that little green circle that popped up. I when it, Whoever walks into that circle owns the tent now. So I own this tent. I need to put in the feature where you can move out of the tent and let other people take it over and stuff like that. Or if you go and build another tent somewhere, you can take that as your home instead of this one. Um, so that's that's something that needs to be done. But the idea is you're going to be building these basic structures, tent, fireplace, uh, workbench. The way it's set up right now is I'm accessing it through the tent. That's going to change. But for now, I'm just going to place them in the world to show you. Um, the workbench model is going to change. It's not going to be a kitchen dining room table. It's going to actually look like a workbench. So I just needed it for visual. Um, it's raining. I can't put the fire on. But the idea of the workbench is, again, this UI is a work in progress, is that all players can contribute to it. They'll put tools in these slots, and um, the tools you'll, you'll find out in the world, you know, maybe a screwdriver, a hammer, or something like that. Plug it into this workbench. It'll unlock this tier of... Uh, of structures that you can build. Once you plug it in, anyone can build them. <coughs> and so I think that kind of reinforces the whole co-op mentality that not everyone's going to need their own workbench. It's it's better to work together. So I'm going to go ahead and build this. It doesn't cost me any resources right now because I'm in the uh, developer mode. But um, the idea from this is you're going to pick it up off the table. There's a box that spawns in after you build it. Pick it up and you can move this box around. You can uh, then drop it and assemble it and when you're assembling it it's got an AOE perimeter around that box where you can you can build it at so if I needed to move this if I needed it to be out here I would either have to right click pick up my box and move it again or just cancel the build by walking out of the area but I'm gonna go ahead and put this up I'll, I'll just put it right here um, so yeah that's that's really the base building change um, I like it a lot better. I think it's uh, easier to understand. It's also easier to implement. And from here, you know, if you messed up placing one of these things down, you would just be able to turn it back into a box and place it. I need to put that functionality in, but that's basically the reverse of actually placing the thing. So you'd be able to easily adjust your base, move stuff around. Um, if you found structures out in the field that you wanted to take home, you could pack them up into a crate and take them home. So, yeah, that there's that part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a run through the world just so we can see everything before it gets dark. I do have the day-night cycle sped up, so I kind of want to hurry. Um, but at night it gets pretty dark. You can't see. I need to put in some hand torches so that, that you could build from the fireplace and then you can run around and see at night. Um, maybe even flashlights, stuff like that. But the idea of the world is we have three tiles hooked up right now. Uh, the forest tile and then two grass tiles. And they're just being randomly placed next to each other. And then there's a border of the island on the very edges of the, the island that's kind of a beach. Not like a tropical beach, I guess. It's more like, um, I don't know, it fits. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to find the beach from here. So I'll just have to save that for another video update. But... Um, I'm working on adding more tiles into the world, um, more variation of forest, more grass, um, things that spawn on the grass tile like 
camps, NPC camps, um, stuff like that, and you should expect to see those in, in the future video updates. Um, but for now, all we have is really just a giant forest. So, yeah. Um, I think that's about it that's changed since the last update. Uh, I'm just going to turn off my mic and run through the world a little bit more, and then I'll end the video there. So, thanks for watching. See you later.